Assalamu alaikum everybody, Sayyid Ahmed back again with another YouTube video. Today's YouTube video, guys, we're going to be going over the fact um, why I didn't trade today and why I didn't trade yesterday. A lot of you guys think that you're supposed to be trading every single day, and I'm here to tell you that that's just not true, all right? So if you guys like this sort of content, um, I haven't traded <laughs> recently, like I already said, so I haven't been able to give you like chart breakdowns or anything along those lines. So, you know, sorry about that, but hopefully when I get back to trading, I will be able to give you that. Uh, which is going to be soon, inshallah. But yeah, if you guys like this sort of content where I just sit down and talk to you guys, because honestly, chart breakdowns, technical analysis, you know, strategy videos, they're cool and they get a lot of views. Some of my best performing videos are like that. But sitting down and talking to you guys, this is where I give you guys real advice. This is where I give you guys advice that, you know, no matter what strategy you trade, no matter where you are in your trading journey, you can learn from, right? And you can benefit from. So I really like making these videos, even if they don't really get that many views because they provide the most amount of value with you. So if you guys liked this video, guys, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Brokers I recommend, guys, free trading Discord, all of that. So my social media is all in the bio. I recently hit 500 subscribers on YouTube, so I'm very grateful for that, alhamdulillah. And I appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So the reason I didn't trade today was because it was PPI news, okay? The reason I didn't trade yesterday was because it was CPI news. Now, I'm trading New York session, right? So with New York session, there tends to be some news. In fact, New York session probably has the most amount of news coming out in comparison to Asian and London. Like, honestly, guys, sometimes I do wish I traded or not traded. I lived in like the London area or a time where London was normal instead of at 3 a.m. where I am because I could just trade London session and I'd pretty much never have to worry about news. It would be fantastic. Um, and I'd still be able to trade with a large amount of volume. But unfortunately, I do not. You have to work with what you got. So, New York session, unfortunately, always has a lot of news. Now, some news is high impact, other news is not. I'm only going to be talking about high impact news. High impact news events, there's multiple types. And there's some high impact news that I will trade, other ones that I won't trade. Some high impact news that I will trade is like unemployment claims. I couldn't care less about unemployment claims, guys. Yes, it moves the markets, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, right? So I'll trade that. But news events that I will not trade are stuff like CPI, stuff like PPI. Because quite frankly, guys, when it comes to, let me give you guys all of them, okay? So take out a notepad right now and jot these news events down because I highly recommend you guys to avoid ever trading these days. Ever. Like, ever. <laughs> Unless if you're trading on like the daily time frame or something. CPI, PPI, NFP, FOMC. Now, between all of these days, you're probably not going to be trading four to five days every single month. And so already, a lot of you guys are probably panicking because you're like, Guys, you don't have to trade every single day. Okay. I've proven that. All the day traders you watch have proven that. No day trader that is profitable trades every single day. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Most day traders that aren't profitable are not trading every single day. And they might even hop onto the charts. And if they don't see a strategy or if they don't see, sorry, their edge play out, their trading setups show up in the market, they're not going to trade that day. The goal of day trading, guys, is not to trade. The goal of day trading is to manage your risk so you can make money. I don't care what anybody says. Day trading is cool. Day trading is fun. Day trading is exciting. Whatever it might be. Guys, the only reason you're day trading right now is to make money. Otherwise, why would you be doing it? You're not day trading to sit on your charts for two hours and draw lines on a computer and plus buy or sell. You're doing it to make money. You're doing it so you can quit your job one day. You're doing it so you can live your dream life. Travel where you want to. Buy that car. Buy your parents a house get out of debt, whatever it might be. You're not doing it to trade. You're doing it to make money. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm doing it to make money too. I do make money from trading, mashallah. I'm a profitable day trader. What I am saying though, is that the objective of day trading is not to trade, right? We've already cleared that up. The objective is to make money. So how are you going to make money? You're going to make money by trading when market conditions are in your favor, when probability is in your favor. And there are some things that you can do to make probability more in your favor than others, right? Trading when there's a lot of volume, avoiding high impact news, only taking higher quality setups. I guarantee you guys, every single strategy that has an edge that will make you money over the long run, trade it when there's no volume. You'll lose money. Trade it when there's high impact news. You'll lose money. Trade it when, trade every single setup instead of taking the higher quality setups you're going to lose money. There are stuff out there that if you were to implement in your trading plan, will increase your profitability, will increase the win rate of your strategy, will turn your strategy profitable. And I just listed them. 
and sometimes that incorporates not trade. Let me give you a, an example, right? Let's go into the charts right now. Just so you guys don't think I'm just, just so you guys don't think I'm like, sometimes guys, I just cannot speak English. Like it's just, it's crazy to me, but we're on US 500 guys. So I would hop into the charts at 930. Now look at this guys. I will be trading until 11 o'clock. What the heck has price been doing? What has price done? It's done nothing. It's done nothing. It's very easy to see in hindsight that, oh, uh, actually, this is the start of an uptrend. You're right. It is the start of an uptrend. Okay, cool. But for the last 45 minutes of the session that I would be looking at, it did nothing. And how am I supposed to capitalize off this? I mean, look at this. For 45 minutes, it does nothing. And in the other 45 minutes, it's done nothing. <laughs> it's this entire phase, guys. You might think that this is an uptrend and you may not even be wrong, but look at this. This entire phase is just consolidation. Up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and so how are you supposed to know that it actually is going to go in an uptrend now? Why didn't it go to an, an uptrend right now? Why wouldn't you buy over here? Why wouldn't you buy over here? You don't know. You don't know until this already happens. Okay, cool, it happened. Now you bought. And now you're just in consolidation again. Over here. It's, it's just a smaller consolidation box. Again, up, down, up, down. Maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down. I don't know. But these aren't market conditions that I would like to trade. Look at this. This entire area has just been ranging. It's been consolidating. Why do you think that is? It's because of this 8.30 a.m. news that had this massive that, that had this massive effect on the markets. Because prior to news, guys, what are we doing? We have no idea what news is going to come out to be. So we're just waiting. And after news, we're reacting to it, right? But even then, news has already made the move. So after the news has made the move, people are still sitting on the sidelines. They want to see what's going on. They want to see what's going to happen prior to jumping into the market. So you have consolidation before news and you have consolidation after news. Why would I trade this? Right? Let's look at yesterday. Right? Let's look at yesterday. Now I did mark out these trades, guys, but I would I did not actually take them. So I'm just gonna delete them. News happens and we have this massive run up. Now, usually, guys, when we have this massive run up, we actually counteract that, but this time we didn't. Okay, so I'm just gonna like we just got into an uptrend, right? And could you have profited from this? Yes, you could have. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Like this is definitely an uptrend, and this is quite possibly the easiest uptrend you could have spotted, right? And I'd hop into the markets around here, and you know we've already made this strong move. We're closing above these highs, so this is an uptrend. But when I scale down to the time frames I want to enter on, there's nothing because price is just going up. There's no pullbacks. Look at this, guys. It's just going up and up and up and up and up. You don't want to be entering on highs, right? You don't want to buy highs. You want to buy lows. How am I supposed to enter off this when there's no lows? Even this, this is a minor pullback. This has nothing. Like I couldn't, I couldn't enter off this. Those drawings that I marked out are in hindsight. So in reality, would I even enter off those? Probably not. Being completely honest with you. Now, could you have entered off that? Maybe. And that honestly, yesterday was a better day than today. Right? Today was just choppy. It's ranging. It's consolidating. But yesterday was an uptrend. But here's the thing, guys. Sometimes yesterday, or actually most of the time, days like yesterday when a CPI comes up aren't like that. They're more they're mainly acting like days like today with PPI. Days you can't even trade. Days you not, will not find your trading setup. And if you do find your trading setup, it's going to be low probability because there's no trend. It's just consolidating. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Could I have placed a trade yesterday? Yeah, but why would I? Over the long run, I know when CPI news comes out, it ruins the markets and my strategy becomes ineffective. So why would I even open the charts? It makes no sense. I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to take a trade because I know over the long run, I'm not going to make money. And I want a lot of you guys to know that, yes, I'm talking about high impact news, but this goes, goes with anything. You know, maybe you notice that like, I don't know, maybe you have a 10 pip stop loss usually. And you notice that anytime you take a trade with a stop loss above 20 pips, you end up losing that trade. So don't take trades with stop losses above 20, 20 pips. It sounds simple because it is. Day trading is very simple, guys. It's difficult, but it is very simple. And so that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. With trading, I always say this, less is more. Okay, if, you're, if you follow my TikTok, you've seen this. You've seen me say this multiple times. Less is more. You will never, ever, ever go broke by not taking a trade. But there's a very high chance you take a trade and you lose money. Never ever think about the upside, guys, because the upside isn't guaranteed. But you know what is guaranteed? The downside. The downside is 100% guaranteed. You know for a fact that you're going to lose when you place a trade. 
at one point or another, the market will reverse on you and you will hit your stop loss. You know what you don't know for a fact? If it's going to hit your take profit prior to hitting your stop loss. Always, always, always think about the downside. And if you're not sure, don't trade. It's as simple as that, guys. You don't have to overcomplicate this. If you're unsure, don't trade. If you're sure, take a trade. But every single day, you will not find good quality setups. The best traders out there only trade when there's high quality setups. And every single day is not going to give you that opportunity. Today, it didn't give me that opportunity. Yesterday, it didn't give me that opportunity. And that's mainly because statistically, it's proven to me that when those five news impact, high impact news events come out, the market conditions are ruined and I shouldn't be trading that day. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to trade. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So if you're itching to trade, you are doing something wrong. I can tell you that right now. No one that's a profitable day trader is like, oh, I can't wait to hop into the markets and trade. And I'm making money from trading. You're probably losing money from trading if you're a beginner, right? Or maybe you're at the break-even stage. So if the people that are consistently making money, people are way better than me, that make way more money than me, or sitting on the sidelines doing nothing, or not excited to trade, feel no emotions when they win or lose, chances are you should be replicating us. So don't trade every single day. Only trade when you should be trading. Only trade when you have high quality setups. That's all I wanted to say in this video, guys. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, free Discord in the bio, uh, in the description, all, all that jazz, guys. I will be trading tomorrow. So if you join the Discord today, when this video gets released, you will watch me trade live tomorrow. That being said, guys, peace out. Assalamualaikum. Allah Hafiz.